So, you have to, whoa. I wanted to explain how bad my makeup looks in this video. I was trying out a new eyeshadow palette. I didn't realize how bad it was until I started editing this footage. So, I, I promise you I'm not that bad at eye makeup. It looks so bad. Okay, <laughs> let's get on to the video. Hey guys, it's Emery <laughs> and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out something that I've never seen before. I saw this when we were at Walmart at like 10.30 last night um, because I live at Walmart. You should see the vlogs and you will know. Uh, I was just looking through all the makeup and stuff and I saw this. No, it is not sunscreen, even though it really does look like spray on sunscreen. Like the color and everything, it just seems like it should be with the sunscreen. It's not. This is the first and only one second spray away nail polish remover. It is by Nail Aid. It's maximum strength acetone spray nail polish remover. 100% leak and spill, spill proof. Two times faster removal, non drying formula. No white residue. It also is strengthening for splitting and peeling nails, which I have really bad. It, it's good. It's actually it's gotten a lot better, but my nails are still pretty weak. If it does what it says, think about it. Just like spraying it on and wiping it, wiping it off. That'll be so cool. Um, it was $4.99 at my Walmart, which is not too bad. But before we get on to the video, before we start trying this out, don't forget to, to subscribe if you have not, and ring the bell so you can get notified of any future videos like this one. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I painted my nails this morning. A really cute like Valentine's Day themed color coordinating thing. I did like dark, dark red and like pink. And of course, it is already chipping because that is my life. Someday, I will find a nail polish that will work for me. And I also, on purpose, like, kind of went outside the lines because I want to see if, one, it will work well if just taking off your nail polish really quickly, and two, if you can, like, spray it onto, like, a Q-tip and it, like, helps you clean up really easily. Okay, let's see. Directions. Spray on the cotton ball or pad. Oh, what? You don't spray on your nails? Huh? I was so excited about that part. Spray on a cotton ball or pad, a cotton pad until saturated. Press over nails and swipe from cuticle to tip. Wash hands thoroughly after use. For best results, do not spray directly on nails. Ah! Lame. I might try it anyway. <laughs> we can experiment. I wonder if it's going to make the room smell so awful. I didn't even think about that. I guess nail polish remover already does that, but we'll make it worse. Will it be as bad? It does, honestly, it doesn't smell as bad. Okay. I'm gonna do it from root to tip. That did nothing. Maybe I didn't get it like saturated enough. It's still on. What is this? Let's make it, let's try to make it a little bit more wet. I think that's a lot of remover. Okay, let's try this one more time. That was a little bit better. Maybe I just didn't get it wet enough, but that's not one swipe. And you're done. That's still rubbing. It's still like in the corners too. We're gonna try a clean one with clean nail, make sure it's really saturated. I mean, there's no white residue, which is a bonus. Okay, that's like soaking wet. <laughs> let's try it one more time. Nah, nothing. Yeah, I like it better than my Equate acetone nail polish remover. It's definitely not one second swipe away. Okay, let's try it on the really dark color. You still have to rub, but I mean, there's no one swipe. Does it say one swipe? Just spray and swipe away. Yeah, it doesn't say like hold it on there for a second. But I mean, it's doing a, a decent job taking off the nail polish. Like as long as you like rub it pretty good, it takes it off. But like that's not the advertisement you're going for. Okay, so if I hold it on there for a few seconds, we'll count to 10. Okay, now is it one swipe away? Er, it's kind of stuck. Now, nah. so let's see if you can take a Q-tip to it and it'll be better at cleaning up around the edges. Um, let's do this guy. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay, I like it. I, I like it for the use of cleaning up around the nails. Okay, we're gonna try spraying it. 
Okay, we sprayed it. I just sprayed acetone all over my hand. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work at all. It's not for best results spray on a cotton pad. It's for actual results spray directly on cotton pad. It, well, it's the new, it's the newest, the newest craze to stick little pieces of cotton on your wet nail polish and then have it like dry down. Didn't you, didn't you know that? This is kind of a joke. Okay, so you have to. Whoa! I went to shake it and it just got everywhere. You have to spray it directly on the cotton pad. You have to spray a lot. And you still have to rub, not as much as like with my normal one, but my normal one is generic brand. I don't know how safe this is necessarily because you have to spray acetone in the air, like a lot of it, to be able to get your nail polish off. It's just not coming off. I don't like it. I mean, it's okay. And I will keep using it to spray onto cotton swab for like when I touch up my nails, when I actually get my nails. <laughs> I'm gonna get better to, did you see that? I'm gonna get better at doing my nails. I don't like it when my nails aren't painted, but I don't like painting my nails either. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna say this is a no. I would not necessarily recommend buying it unless like you really, really feel like it's necessary to be able to spray the nail polish onto your cotton pad instead of just like doing the little put it on the lid, turn it upside down, turn it over again, and it like is on there. Just find yourself like a decent nail polish remover. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Comment down below on any other nail products you want me to try out. I love you guys so, so much, and do not ever forget, you are enough. Bye.